The sprawling Santa Susana Field Laboratory might become a cultural site under a new proposal filed by NASA with the California State Office of Historic Preservation. In a 70-page nomination letter filed with the state agency, NASA has offered to preserve the entire Santa Susana area that encircles the Burrow Flats Painted Cave, a unique record of prehistoric Native American pictographs. But the proposal doesn't sit well with advocates and San Fernando Valley residents who say the Burrow Flats area occupies only a fraction of the two, 850-acre field and designating the entire area would allow NASA to walk away from its commitment to thoroughly clean up the site riddled with cancer-causing chemicals and radioactive waste. Last year, the NASA Inspector General's office said the cleanup would cost $500 million, take 25 years to complete and was generally, not achievable. Representatives of NASA didn't return requests to comment. The entire move was deployed by NASA to get out of having to do the cleanup of the site, said Denise Duffield with the LA Chapter of Physicians for Social Responsibility. If they NASA, respected this land so much, they wouldn't have polluted it so terribly. Burrow Flats, which dates back as long as 5,000 years ago, was used by Native Americans as a ceremonial site. It's the only location in the region where both winter and summer solstice observation sites are in evidence. And while the exact location of the cave is kept secret to protect it from vandalism, it's known that it's tucked in the area owned by NASA. The ability to celebrate the solstices at this site is considered a vital part of the revitalization of the local Native American culture, NASA said in a letter filed with the California State Office of Historic Preservation. The presence of these observatories at Burrow Flats makes this an important ceremonial site in the Simi Hills area, still in use, and necessary to the revitalization of the local Native American culture. Ancestors of several Native American tribes resided in the area, including Fernandeño Tataviam Band of Mission Indians, Gabrieleño Band of Mission Indians, the Quiche Nation and Barbareño, Inesenyo, and Ventureño Chumash, according to the document. Kenneth Kahn, tribal chairman for the Santa Inez Band of Chumash Indians, said in a statement that the tribe continues to work with NASA on designating the entire Borough Flat site as a traditional cultural property for listing on the National Register of Historic Places. Tribal president at Fernandeño Tataviam Band of Mission Indians Rudy Ortega Jr. said he visited the site with his father back in the 1970s to make sure the artifact was preserved and protected. It would be nice to have it as a historical or preserved area, he said, adding that NASA will remove radiation, any chemical and anything that is harmful to the Earth. One of the key things is that nature will cure itself.